Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I have been spending a bit more time at home because I'm not working so much. So I thought that we could hang out over the next few days. It is about 9.30 Monday morning and I need to go pick up my click and collect. So I've managed to dress myself, which is becoming harder and harder. Old dress on from Cotton On, nice and baggy. It is looking a little short because of the bump. Like. That's my undies. <laughs> but I am 34 weeks and a few days. I can't quite remember. I've also got these shoes on from Therapy. I picked them up at Famous Footwear, but they are really thick. They're so comfortable. They've got so much padding. Hash brown for the road. All right, groceries can wait for a minute. I need to eat. I got a caramel ice latte. I've just been really feeling like a sweet coffee and it is sweet. I got on oat milk too. There's just something about oat milk in an ice drink. So good. I got some hot cakes, yummy. I got a bacon and egg McMuffin, double bacon. And then another hashi. Also got to have syrup to put all over your hot cakes and whipped butter. Hi, I'm James Well. And I'm Robert Well. And this is always Jackie, a lot of people ask. If you were... No, why? I'm a bit disappointed. The Welsh twins are just <laughs> too much. I love them. All right, that was delicious. Now for a grocery haul. We got some raspberries, bananas, an avocado. Do you guys prefer these avocados or the Hass avocados? I feel like these ones last longer and they always peel really nicely as well. But sometimes a Hass avocado, you don't always get a nice peel and they just go bad quick. What's your avocado preference? <laughs> Celery, cabbage, apples, pink lady. They are my favorite. And potatoes, sparkling water, milk, some decaf coffee and some oyster sauce, bin bags, some bolognese sauce. Oh, I feel exhausted. I had such a bad sleep last night. Just like the back pain and the hip pain from laying on my side. Oh my God, it hurts so much. And just getting up to pee waking up okay next as i said i've been feeling like sweet coffees so i got some of these caramel latte sachets some muesli bars i'm still obsessed with these carmen's oat bars some noodles i want to make a veggie stir fry for dinner one night this week also on the menu we've got a beef stew which is why i've got the potatoes the celery and i've already got carrot in the fridge um another night we'll be having spaghetti bolognese another night we'll make some beef burgers which i've already got all the ingredients for those some yogurt for breakfast and then i got some mince beef and chicken but no one needs to see that gross got some spring onion a bag of spinach some bread for clinton and some eggs i also got a big thing of toilet paper and all up i think it was about a hundred and fifty dollars okay i need to plan my week ahead i use the steph pays signature planner this is what it looks like it has a week view. In the front of the month here, there's all these different sections and I like to put them personal, house, pregnancy and social. So I'll just check back in with what needs to be done for the month, see what I can fit into the week. As you can see, there's not much because I am trying to really just slow down. I did pick up these new highlighters from Kmart the other day. How nice are they? Oh my God, this just makes doing this so much more fun. Like I already love this, but with these highlighters and <laughs> all the stickers that this planner comes with, I have a pretty good time. All right, I've got a bit of PR here that I want to take some photos of. Um, some of the Emco Beauty makeup I just want to make a reel with. And there is a nice bit of light coming in from this window. So I just use this white t-shirt to lay down like as my backdrop. Let me actually show you what I got. So this is the Maybelline 
green collection or edition. So we've got some foundations here. This, what is this? Some kind of lip product. And then a mascara. So this is available at Chemist Warehouse. And what is making this a green edition? We've got minimum 84% natural origin ingredients, vegan formulas made with a mix of recycled and new materials. The next package is from GoTo Skincare and they have released a new mask called the Removalist. So this is a clay mask, which is right up my alley. It says it's for all skin types, particularly oily. It will reset your complexion by drawing out impurities and excess oil. And then the last one I have here is from Sunday Body and they've sent two of their body washes. We've got Juicy Pear and Orange Crush. Oh, I am really excited for these. I've only tried the coconut one. They are just so creamy. They leave your skin feeling so smooth. Here is a little overview of baby's room at the moment. We set up her pram yesterday. So we went with this Django panorama. So it comes with a bassinet attachment and then a seat for when she is bigger. It is really like easy to maneuver and easy to fold up as well. You just unclip the bassinet and then pull it and it it's done, like it's folded. So nice and easy. We didn't want a pram that like just causes us so much stress having to push, pull, tug, like all that annoying shit. So we're very happy with this one. And I love the, um like the tan leather as well. It's really nice. I do show a lot of this stuff in my third trimester vlog, which I'm actually going to start editing today. So that will be up soon. But let me just show you in case you can't wait, like me. <laughs> just, it's too exciting. But I've got a few of her clothes hanging up here and I got these little dividers from Kmart. So these are four zeros, three zeros, and then a few bigger sizes. And I've also got tubs up here with more clothes in them. Some that my sister gave me, some that I've started purchasing. I also got excited and just like folded and put a bunch of clothes away here, but I still need to wash them all. So I know that that's kind of like a waste of time, but as I said, I just got excited. <laughs> up here, we got some bibs, some little headbands and shoes. Clinton saw this the other day. He goes, wow, that looks annoying. I'm like, <laughs> Yep, but I've seen so many people rave about this on TikTok, so I'm actually really excited to get it set up for when she's a bit older. Got a bunch of sheets over here that I need to wash, like the bassinet sheets. Um, we've got our Nuna carrier, like the bulkier version, like the, the a bulkier one. And then I also have this Moby wrap, which I'm hoping that she'll like and it'll be good for when she's fresh. Got some mirrors for the car which we need to go to baby bunting and get our car seats installed. I actually just had a play around with this light that we got from Noddy, I'm guessing that's how you say it. It can be used like being plugged in, but also not plugged in. Just press it, your light comes on. You got a bunch of different light options and different noise options. It also connects to an app so you can like save your favorite settings and things like that. So I think that this is going to be very handy. I think I might even use it when I'm in labor as I love some dim lighting and calm music. We have ordered a mattress for the cot, but it was on back order. It doesn't really matter because she'll be sleeping in the bassinet. And don't worry, none of this stuff will be in here when she's here. This is all my stuff. I've started setting up a little bathroom kit with some nice big granny panty diapers, peri bottle. I still need to get a few more things to go in there. This is the nappy caddy that I got from Kin. Some nappies, wipes, disposable change mat. I've got a little section for me as well. I've got the Haka pump, some breast pads, some nipple cream. I've got a little book collection starting down here, which I just love. So yeah, things are still kind of all over the place, but we are making moves in here. We also ordered a playmat. This one is from Harlow & Co. They are like the reversible soft playmats. So I thought this would be good for in the lounge room because this carpet is actually really shit and it feels rough 
makes you itchy and this way if there's any spills it can just be tidied up all right that is my washing done my third load for the day so i think after i peg this out i'm just going to sit down and chill for a while i am just heating up some leftover pasta for my very late lunch it's like three o'clock already probably 3 30 and i'm going to watch the help i've been seeing like clips pop up on my tiktok a lot and it's a good movie so I'll watch that and probably drift off into a little nap. Okay, I want this butterfly pillow, and this banana pillow, and then a heat pack for my back. Let's take all this to the lounge. Good morning. It's about 8.30. I've been awake for about an hour. Oh my God, the hip pain. I don't know what to do. Just tossing and turning all night. I slept for like nine hours. Well, I didn't sleep for nine hours. I was in bed for nine hours, but I still feel really tired. So hopefully I'll have a nap today because I didn't have a nap yesterday. I just rested. <sighs> Baby girl was also giving me a lot of kicks last night. I'm doing a little bit of acrobatics in there. <laughs> all right, let's freshen up in this situation, hey? So I'm using this a bit hippie face mist. Oh, it just feels so refreshing. And then I've got the Hey Bud Hyaluronic Acid. My skin has been quite nice this third trimester. Like my cheeks, it's my jaw is where like the breakouts have been. But I'm really surprised by how nice my cheeks have been. My deodorant is this roll on by a bit hippie. Put that on while my hyaluronic acid soaks in. And then I've got this vitamin C by Revolution. I really didn't have high hopes for this, but I think it's been working really nicely for my skin. Some vitamin C's um, break me out depending on the formula. Like they'll give me really bad blackheads, but this one's been nice. I've got this Fenty Skin eye cream. I don't use it every morning, but I'm feeling very tired, as I said. And this eye cream comes with this cool little tool. It's like stainless steel and it rolls. Oh, it feels so cooling. And for moisturizer, I've been testing out this, is it Biosense? Biosense. <laughs> Squalene and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. Just a little sample here. I really like this. It's lightweight, but a little bit richer than my usual Neutrogena moisturizer. But I feel like that's a nice in-between seasons moisturizer. All right, let's sort out this hair. I did wash it last night, so it's going to be a big frizzy mess. Mm, how's that? Mm. And then in with a bit of this Schwarzkopf got to be paste. That'll just help keep all those flyaways down. All right, and then in with my SPF. This is the Cancer Council Face Day Wear Moisturizer. I also like to put a little bit on my hands, especially if I'm going to be driving somewhere. All right, I feel so much fresher already. I'm already feeling the heat, so I've just got to put the aircon on. I was about to open up all the windows, but I just can't handle it. I also decided not to do the dishes last night, so I'm going to have to do that this morning. I think I might actually do like a quick tidy up, maybe set a 30 minute timer, put on some music and just get whatever I can get done. Oh my God, TMI, but I just peed a little bit when I sneezed. Oh no. <laughs> I truly am a mum now. Even though it is stinking hot, I'm just going to sit outside to eat my toast to get a bit of fresh air. Oh, I'll turn the fan on. Oh, look, there's a new leaf on my plant. Hello. These guys really... Oh, you've got a new one too. I was saying, these guys really haven't been doing too well. I don't know. I don't know what you want. All right, I'll put a bit of music on. This R&B playlist is my favorite ever.
done all the big areas. I thought I'd just give you a little update. I think it's been quite a few months since I've actually done like a little house tour update kind of thing. So starting with our dining room, I know I've definitely shown you the rug and the chairs. Just got a little olive tree up in the back from Ikea. Our main bedroom, I got this rug from Miss Amara maybe a week ago and it is so soft. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the color as well. It really matches. I'm just thinking now I want to get some new lamps. I brought those lamps like back when we lived in our rental. But yeah, I just don't really think they're the vibe. Bathroom is pretty standard. I did get this tray from Kmart just to sit all those goodies on. I've got a hanging plant up in this corner, but I wouldn't mind one up here as well, just to add a bit of greenery to that space. The desk space is always quite a mess. That's like our little dumping ground area. Frames are up. I'm sure you've seen them in other vlogs. We've still got this blue couch here. We really don't like the color, but we love having a couch there. And then this is our media room or lounge room. So you've all seen the lounge and the pillows. We've got this three set of little tables from Freedom. Our TV cabinet is from Temple and Webster. And then you've just got a lamp, a few little plants, whatever. I would really like a rug for this area, but because we'll have baby soon, I thought not to worry about it. I'll use that play mat that I showed you guys yesterday. That'll probably stay in here a lot. And even like, I really want to decorate it and make it look pretty, but I'm like, about to have a baby in here. So it'll probably be full of toys and... <laughs> all different kinds of crap, but very cozy. Lounge is from Nick Scarly. I just wanted to give you a little personal update on my counseling journey. So my counselor and I have decided that we're done pretty much. <laughs> that we are both feeling confident with how I've been going, the progress I've made, my ability to deal with things on my own, which is just, great like i feel like the last couple times i've gone i've just gone to debrief i haven't really gone for a lot of advice and help kind of thing and you know counseling is quite expensive and for some reason it doesn't fall under a mental health care plan because i tried but anyway i really really liked my counselor we got along very well i've been seeing her for the last two years i reckon the first counselor i saw like that was the first time i'd ever been so i just thought maybe this has taken a bit like her advice was a bit yeah not really speaking to me and then she ended up leaving and that's when i got the new counselor and instantly i was like oh okay you're way better suited for me so it can take a minute to find like the right person for you but i feel really lucky that i did find that person and she has been so helpful she has gotten me through so much just family stuff friends personal growth like she has just really helped me in so many ways and i feel as i said so much more confident in myself and my ability to make decisions and know that what I'm doing is right for me. She's actually also pregnant. She's about eight weeks behind me. So this timeline kind of works out well because she's going to be going on maternity leave too. She will be available though for a few weeks after I give birth in case I need her. But yeah, I think in one of my last vlogs, I spoke about like feeling overwhelmed and like my family's emotions or like people around me just taking on all their emotions and their feelings too hard. And it really took me becoming pregnant, like to really stop and put myself first, put rest first, be able to take pressure off of myself to look after me and everyone around me, the pressure to get everything done perfectly all the time. It's something that I had been working on through counseling for a while and something like, you know, I was dabbling in, but as I said, it really took me becoming pregnant and my body like physically forcing me to stop <laughs> that I've really learned how important it is for me to slow down and just rest when I need to rest, only take on what I can take on in my life and in other people's lives because when you're growing a baby, it's just a completely different world, <laughs> I swear. But yes, I think I've made a lot of progress and I know that my life is about to be shaken up once baby's here, but I feel like I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it mentally. Like I've got the tools, you know, in my toolkit to deal with different situations that arise. So I'm feeling good. I am very grateful for counseling. I am very thankful that I took the time to 
invest in myself and look after myself because even though it has been a long journey, it's really helped and I feel like it set me up, like I said, with those tools to last a really long time. But yeah, there was like some really dark times during counseling, but to see how I've come through the end and how good it has been for me, I just, I'm proud of myself for that. But yeah, I just wanted to share a bit about my journey and hope that maybe if any of you are struggling, you do seek the help that you need. But for the rest of the day, I think I might quickly do up a little list. I want to run up the shops, got a few things to do up there. And then I'm going to rest. I'm going to listen to my body and rest and not feel guilty about it. Because again, that's something I struggle with, especially pre-pregnancy, resting and just feeling guilty. Like there's so much more I could be doing. Why am I just laying down? But now that I'm pregnant, I'm like, lay down enjoy that rest don't feel guilty about it and like i've been working so much less so that's like well tanika you got all these extra days off like you should be so productive you've got so much free time i've got to just remind myself you are being productive because you're growing a damn baby so that's fine sit down and watch another episode of real housewives last week i uploaded a full face using emco beauty and the miracle hydro glow foundation just did not work for me so i want to try it out again some of you suggested using my fingers instead i did try a sponge and a brush but it was just fully breaking up i also used the skin perfect pore minimizing primer so i don't know maybe if that well i don't think that had an effect on it because i only put that like in my t-zone and it was still looking patchy on my cheeks so i've got a bit here Ugh, the color was actually too dark for me as well so I might just put in a few lightning drops. Now I've been using these Astralis lightning drops for years. They don't alter the formula of the foundation. They just make it lighter. So they shouldn't have an effect on that. All right, let's go in and see what happens. I'm not really like a fingers person when it comes to foundation. I'm like, do I pat? Do I rub? What do I do? Let's rub. Okay, it's looking all right. Very light coverage. I'm just gonna go in with a sponge. I'm using a different sponge. This is the e.l.f. Last time I used the Nakia Joy. Mm, it's looking better, but it's definitely still a bit patchy. I feel like it does apply all right with my fingers. I don't get a lot of coverage though because half the foundation is left on my finger and it looks cakey and patchy on my finger. So I don't know. I really just don't think this foundation is for me. And that's all right, not everything has to work for everyone, but I did want to try it again, just to give it a second chance. Let's try a brush again. Definitely get more coverage with a brush, but like, look how patchy it is there. It's just clingy. All right, I think we can definitely say the verdict on that one is a no for me. Instead, let's go in with a foundation I have been loving lately. This is the Mud makeup flawless finish foundation this has a really nice kind of like light to medium coverage doesn't cling to anything and is really heat proof which shocked me quite a bit i think maybe this emco beauty foundation would work if you've got oily skin because if it's dry it's going to be clingy like it's clingy on me and i don't have dry skin so i feel like if you've got dry skin it's going to be very clingy and it does say it's oil free so maybe it would be best for an oily skin type. I don't know, if you've used it, please let me know in the comments what skin type you have and if it worked or didn't work for you. For concealer, I've got the W7 Oh So Sensitive in the shade L5, I think. There weren't very many shades, well, at the chemist warehouse I was at anyway, there was like five shades and they were all very fair. Like this is number five. Oh, it just sits so nicely under the eyes. It looks really smooth and creamy and hydrating. As you would know, I just have been obsessed with my NYX. Bear with me lately, but I am trying to still mix it up. <laughs> I just went in with a bit of the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. And then for blush, oh, I think I might mix it up today and go for the Australis Dewy and Daring Blush Stick in Girl Next Door. That was complete sarcasm, by the way. I've been using this blush every day since I got it. I just... Can't get enough. 
I can't get enough. Ooh, I've definitely been experiencing some Braxton Hicks contractions. Like right now my whole stomach is just rock solid. They're not painful, but like you can feel when it happens. I don't usually put on highlighter with this blush, but because I've got this Emco Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand in the new shade, well, it's not a new shade, it's a new shade for me, Champagne Glow, I'm going to just put a little bit on it's very pretty. Also on my MCO Beauty video, I got a few compliments on my brows, so thank you. Let me show you how I do them. First things first is getting them tinted and waxed is crucial. <laughs> when they're not tinted, they are so blonde, I have no guideline whatsoever. And even though I don't have a lot of brow hairs, I still need them waxed because I get a lot of white, fluffy brow hairs and they just get in the way when you're trying to create a nice brow shape. So I go and get my brows tinted and waxed, first of all. Now I love using a micro tip brow pencil. So I've got this Emco Beauty Brow Fill and Set. Look how nice and tiny that is. My other favorite brow pencil is one by NYX, the micro brow pencil. Again, super, super tiny. So as you saw, I just brushed my brows up. Now, sometimes I put in a gel first, sometimes I put it in after, depends on what I'm using. Lately, I have been obsessed with the NYX brow glue. So I just follow the shape pretty much. Well, I change it up a little bit. As you can see, this brow kind of doesn't have much going on in the arch. To me, it looks a bit like droopy. So instead of drawing just a straight line across, I like to go on a little bit of an angle to add a bit more shape. And then I just follow underneath my brow and extend that tail. So you can see there that I've kind of got that on a bit of an angle. I just add a tiny bit of product here. And usually if you get a spoolie, you can brush to blend all that product up. Like you really don't need much. And then for the top of my brow, I'm pretty full in the front here, but this arch is what I wanna fix. So I'm going to draw quite a lot in here. So see how much extra I've drawn, like that's everything that I want to fill in. So I just try and go in with a light hand, go in with a spoolie to blend out the product, check on the shape. I think I just need to fill it in a little bit more at the front here. Then I'm going to take some of the NYX brow glue and brush my hairs into place. I find if I brush the hairs, especially in the arch, brush them up, it fills in a lot of the gaps. So I don't have to go in with a ton of product. And then usually with the brush that I've used for my foundation, I don't take any extra product, but I just use it to clean up the edges, make it look a bit more sharp. So then I will give that a few minutes to dry down, like the brow glue while I do my other brow. And then I'm going to go in with a brow pen to draw in some strokes. Now this brow is a little bit different, but they're still quite similar in the fact that I don't have much going on in the arch. So I do like to draw quite a bit in there. Now I have brought this one in a bit fast and just again using my brush that had foundation on it to kind of erase the lines I don't want there and then use it to tidy up. Now I usually love my Essence Tiny Tip Brow Pencil, but I have used all of that up. I need to get another one. So in the meantime, I've got this ColourPop Feather Effect Brow Pen. I don't love it. I thought I would because it's got this really tiny little tip, but it kind of makes it a bit hard to get product out. So especially in the arch is where I like to go in and just draw in some little strokes so that the brow looks more hairy and not so drawn on. If you do find you get a big clump when you're using a brow pen, again in with the spoolie and just blend it away. All right, that is pretty much the gist of how I do my eyebrows. So I'm going to finish my face and then get ready to go to the shops. Oh god. Banger on the radio though. Love a bit of Backstreet Boys. I 
I'm just in Kmart looking at some of the kids' books. I've got two here already. I've always loved looking at the kids' books and I would buy them for my niece all the time. So I'm really excited to buy them for my own baby girl. This one here is really cool because it folds out. Let me show you. So I was after some like black and white. So this side's mostly black and white and then this side is colour. It's got all animals in it. Only six dollars as well. All right, I am back from the shops. That foot massage was so good. Just what I needed. And just before I went to get that, I stopped in at a bakery to get a little lunch. And the girl that served me said she watched my videos. I forgot to get her name though. Oh my God, I walked up like with the most sour look on my face because I'm hungry and my feet hurt. And then she was like, I love your videos. I was like, And she was really fair as well. Oh, so that was really nice. That made my day. But at the shops, I got a ton of books. A few from Target, Kmart, and Big W. <laughs> so exciting. This one is called Bin Chicken Flies Again. <laughs> How good's that? So Aussie. And then some of the last things on my pregnancy to buy list were some hemorrhoid cream and some stool softener. So they are gonna go into my hospital bag as precautionary action in case I need it. But yeah, I am pretty tired now, so I think I might just have a little sit down and maybe watch some Real Housewives. Morning, I had such a better sleep last night. I think I figured out how to deal with my hip problem. Let me show you my sleeping setup. It is so ridiculous. So I got a banana pillow that I lay my head on, put my arm up under because I'm laying on my side. I've got this butterfly maternity pillow. So one side supports my belly, the other side supports my back. The side that's supporting my back, I've got this foam thing, this foam pillow from Kmart that I tuck up under there as well, just to give me a bit more support. And then I have a heat pack and put that on my back. <laughs> Then I just usually have a pillow that I use for in between my legs. Um, sometimes I use this, this pillow here, it like straps onto your knee. But when I use that, I find I still need something for between my ankles. So that's the usual setup. So last night I put a little blanket down for my hips because I found that my body was kind of like dipping and putting a lot of pressure on my hip and the blanket worked so well just to have that little bit of extra support. So that is the bedtime setup. And when I roll over, I've got to uh, move that, move that, get comfortable again. It's quite the mission, but it is what it is. I'm just glad I had a good sleep last night. Today I want to do some filming. I am trying to do a little bit of pre-filming. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself though. So I want to do that, film a few TikToks, do some editing, just kind of have a bit of a social media day. So I've already done my skincare. I'm about to do my hair and get into it. All right, I just finished filming a bunch of TikToks. For my eyeshadow, I actually tried out this Midnight June palette by Morphe. I picked it up because I thought it might be a good alternative to the ColourPop That's Taupe palette. This is what they look like side by side. They're definitely not exact dupes, but ColourPop can be a little bit tricky to get your hands on here in Australia with shipping and whatnot. So I thought this could be a good option. I definitely still prefer this one but the eyeshadow look turned out all right. I just feel like these colors, like I used this brown here and a bit of a deeper brown and it all just looks gray. I also used this shimmer, which has a bit of a purple shift to it. It's quite nice, but it's very hard pressed. So you've really got to like, like get a lot of product to get that shimmer. And then I just got a lot of fallout on my face, which was annoying. So mm, I'll keep trying it out. Let you know what I think in an upcoming video. Right, it's about 11 o'clock now and I want to film an empties video. I have been saying I'm going to film this for so long. <laughs> I just need to do it. I've got so much stuff to go through. Um, so yeah, we'll see if the lighting stays nice for the next hour or so while I do that. All right, I finished filming. That empties video, I'm not kidding, is going to go for like 30 to 40 minutes. I did get a Kmart delivery while I was filming. I do know that this was shipped in two different packages though because I did buy one of their, oh, they released like these new suitcases. I don't own a suitcase. I only have bags. And so I just wanted a small suitcase as like my hospital bag. 
I thought about using like one of the kind of duffel kind of bags that I have, but I just want everything to be really accessible and easy to find for Clinton. So I don't want him having to be like searching for a bag. Where is it? It's in a suitcase, it's laid out, he can see everything, you know. I'm just thinking of convenience here. First things first, I bought some more of the baby coat hangers. I swear I buy these all the time, but she needs more for all her clothes. I picked up some of these magnetic clips. We've got a whiteboard in the pantry that is also from Kmart to hang up like any bills that still come in the mail, like rates. Why do your rates still come in the mail? Why am I getting this via email? But anyway, like I've got a bunch of midwife appointments and just things like that. So anyway, magnetic clips. I picked up this pack of plush blocks for baby. Some of them have mirrors on the back. They've got little bells in them. Also for baby, I picked up one of these elephant cuddle toys. I also grabbed a bunny rabbit one, um, but that's coming in the other package. I was having a look at some comforters like this on the memo, which I can't believe I only just found that website. It's amazing for baby stuff. I have literally just placed my third order, but they had some comforters that were made out of this like muslin material for like 40 bucks. These were on sale, it came up for $4. So got a few of those. For the hospital bag, I also just picked up some packing cubes, again, just to make things easier, organized. Kmart did like repackage their makeup wipes. So I picked up two of them and I've noticed they now say that they are biodegradable. I just like to have these on hand for when I'm filming, like swatching, making a mess, wiping down my table, like it's just, easy to clean. And then lastly, I picked up this BYS brow glue. Look familiar? Mm -mm. I have been loving the NYX brow glue, so I wanted to see if this is a good dupe. All right, well, I think I might end the vlog here anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching and hanging out over the last couple of days. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. And if you wanna watch some more vlogs, I will leave the last couple linked in the description box. Well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.